Why would you take something as powerful and deceive everybody on the face of the earth? Everybody on the face of the earth believe in this person here. Everybody on the face of the earth look for Santa every year. Everybody on the face of the earth. Because this man say he could celebrate Christmas. Because this man say he could celebrate um, give us some holidays. Valentine's. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Father's, Father's Day. Day. All this garbage. When God said that, God said the other your father and honor your mother, bro. He never say I'd set a day. But this. All this is nonsense. The Bible never said to celebrate all of that. But showing all of you, you is an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. You understand that, right? So I want to show you, my brethren, the, the, the image of Christ here, and then I want to show you when you when you know you is an Israelite, God is what's out from you because you always always want things from God, right? Right, so God is what's out from you as well. So let me get Revelation chapter one and verse two. So I'm going to show you Christ's image because you know why I'm going to show you this? Because guess what? People let's lie to we bro. From we young, when we growing up, we was lied to. Our parents was lied to. Our four parents was lied to. And guess what? Our original parents, they ended up like this. Because this man here was beaten for what? You think he was beaten just because? He was beaten and this image was put into his mind. Prior before that, he knew Christ was a black man. You understand? He knew that. And he would have taught his well, his children that Christ was a black man. But you know what they did? They beat him like that and tell him, hey, this is the image you had to worship now. And that image is the Antichrist. You understand, my right. Let me go through it now. Read Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Revelation, the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Christ. So when they say the revelation, what is the root word in revelation? The root word in revelation it is revealed. So if they say in the revelation of Jesus Christ, this is the revealing of Jesus Christ, which we're going to show you here now. So when I reveal something, I take it from, from heaven and show you now. So I paint in a picture here for you now to see Christ's image, right? Read verse 14. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Read his head and his ears were white like wool. Listen, this brethren. Read this again. His head and his ears were white like wool. Who has woolly? Who has woolly texture here? Because it says here his head and his ears were white like wool. So we deal with the wool first. We deal with the color. We deal with the wool. Who has woolly texture here, brethren? My brethren, focus, young man, focus. Who has holy texture here on the face of the earth? No what do you mean no one? So you don't have holy texture there? Wake up. I don't have holy texture there? My brethren here don't have holy texture there? That's right. Holy, wool. You know it's wool? You ever see a sheep? You see the sheep that they sh shave off the thing? Right. Basically what? Whitehead? Wool. Right, so who has holy texture here? The texture. The texture, we're not dealing with the look, the color, we're dealing with the texture. Texture is where you could feel. So the texture of this fabric could be what? Polyester. Or it could be cotton. Or it could be silk. That is what texture goes into. So when you say woolly, read it again. Let me read it again for the veteran. Listen. His hair and his ears were white like wool. So like wool, meaning a comparison to. So who on the face of the earth has hair that is compared to that of a, of a sheep? Watch your hair, bro. Watch your hair. It's only one race of people have that. The so called black man, which I now prove to you, is Israelite. That's yes, I'm brethren. We have here. Watch around, watch around, watch around. You walk the streets, somebody even with mad brothers and the streets here, homeless brothers. They have holy texture there. You see it out. You understand? You understand? It's only one race of people have that. You don't have the Chinese, don't have it. The East Indians don't have it. The Caucasians don't have it. The Arabians don't have it. It's only one race of people have it, bro. It's, it's, it's just like that. It's our people have it. We don't? Right. As white as snow. But before we continue, if that is the case and the Bible saying that, guess what? Christ here had hair like wool. What kind of hair this man has? Watch it here. Does this hair texture depict what the Bible represents? So there's a strike one for this sign here. Right? Let me go on again. Let me find out what the Bible says again about Christ. Read. 
and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And he what? His eyes were were he as a flame of fire. So they say now his eyes were as a flame of fire. Mom, and Ellie finish with him. And Ellie finish, and Ellie finish. Can I really want to learn this image here? He say eyes were like a flame of fire. Does this man here? When they say fire, what, what color are you thinking about? Red. Does this guy here has red red eyes? No. Why? This why I have green eyes, you have blue eyes, you have light brown eyes, you have hazel eyes, all kind of eyes, but not red. So this is a second strike for this man here. What's the question? So are you saying that how when our people are answered? Um so um, are you saying that how when our people, um, our ancestors, um, basically were enslaved, they used that image, um, they used their religion um, to control us? Is that, that that is correct. You know what? You know that is correct to to be precise. Let me show you. Romans chapter one and verse um. Romans chapter one and verse twenty five. I'll show you how they use this image to, to control us or they, to thing us, right? Watch it here. And uh, and guess what? Using virgin. I use any Bible. Me and using no history book. This is God word here, they prophecy. You understand? You ain't getting this in the church, you know. That why empower we people. Why right, right, when we come out here, we wish everybody could just gather and listen, listen to this and learn this and then start apply it in their life. But what is scripture here to prove? What 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 you, what you understand, read? The book of Romans, chapter one and verse twenty-five. Bring it up. Who changed the truth of God? You say who changed the what? The truth. So of when God. they say the truth, that means if they change the truth, they make it our a false or a lie. That's so this right. is a great lie that people spoke against Christ. So read it again. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Into a lie. So this somebody come and change the whole truth of the, the Most High God into a lie. Watch what they did. And worship and served the creature listen to what you say there again listen Bertrand. listen read. and worshiped and served the creature so you're worshiping and serving the creature read more than the creator more than who more than the creator you know who we deserve more than the, the creature more than the creator this image here Bring it you understand? because when we read the bible we learn that christ is what a black man just like you and me so we worshiping and serving this white man here rather than the actual creator who created us which is christ the black messiah that is it bro you understand i watch in and guess what we didn't even finish revelation chapter one but you understand that this is the truth bro this is what we come out here to see and this what this is a lie finish it out read who changed the truth of god into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever amen right give me second thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8. now i'm going to show you this you know why we come out here to, to teach you the image of christ the proper image according to the bible not according to what people say or what pastors say or nothing what the bible say because god say he will preserve this word you believe in god he's almighty and all powerful he's preserving this word here you yes, understand right. so that's why we come out to teach you and show you this is the word here. Give me now Revel um Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse eight. Watch it here, Bertrand. Listen now where we come to teach this here. Read. Bring it out. The book of Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse eight. Bring it out. And then shall the wicked be revealed. And then who? And then shall the wicked be revealed. We revealing the wicked man that came and what told you a lie. Why would somebody lie to you? To control us, to deceive you, to do what else? To be witch you to what? Tell you what you say? Nice. To play with your mind, but not only that, to tell you there's nothing. And them is something. Because guess what? If you know that God is a black man, how you will feel about yourself? Your self esteem will be more lifted. Because you know your God is almighty and all powerful. When you look at this image here, you don't see yourself as almighty and powerful. You see yourself as in subjection. To this man here. Bring it out. You understand? That is the kind of bewitching that this 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 teaching here does. Read it on. Read. Read. Let me finish this verse and you go, man. Read. And then shall the wicked be revealed, Read. whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, 
and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So when Christ come back, uh, this man here, this race of people here, will well, be totally eradicated of the face of the earth. That's right. Because this man here, guess what? The Antichrist, he is against Christ. He don't want you know the thing. Why would you take something as powerful and deceive everybody on the face of the earth? Everybody on the face of the earth believe in this person here. Everybody on the face of the earth look for Santa every year. Everybody on the face of the earth. Because this man say he could celebrate Christmas. Because this man say he could celebrate and um, give us some holidays. Valentine. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Father's Day. Day. All this garbage. When God said that, go and say the other your father and honor your mother, bro. He never say a set a day. But days. All this is nonsense. The Bible never said to celebrate all of that. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Is you. And finally, my brother, be strong.